how did the rural, rural population relate to the political issues of the uh, leading up to the 1837 rebellion for sure? Well, there's a couple of ways to answer that. Number one, they were heavily involved in doing all the fighting, but uh, they were led by middle-class lawyers who had a very different sense of what was wrong. So you read some of the, the, the address to the six counties from 1837, and every one of the issues is about how um, the people looking for jobs in the British administration aren't getting any respect, and the, uh, the uh, members of the House of Assembly are not getting the ear of the governor. But if you look at the, the crises that were facing Lower Canada, the, the countryside, immigration and the spread of cholera, uh, the bad harvest, uh, there are some areas in the 1820s, for example, uh, where the, the Catholic Church was going around collecting donations to help feed the poor. And you don't get any sense of that in the, the discontent articulated by the middle class politicians. So uh, when I looked at Saint Joseph de Beauce, um, there were two people who were involved in the, um, the political events of the 1830s. Uh, they were both local notaries, so they were educated, the middle class. And I found does not say they don't this uh, people's content, discontent didn't exist, but I found no echo of the political uh, controversies in this parish. Uh, people were focused on their their local affairs, and in farming communities, the number one issue has to be uh, survival from year to year. And the reality for a lot of people is the growing season's very short. Can't take a lot of time away from your work. The, the, the festive season is much longer, but uh, I think people were probably less interested in politics in the festive season, just like now. Um, so um, I didn't find a great deal of um, echo back and forth between uh, the political leaders and their concerns. I didn't hear any uh, resonance in the countryside. And even worse, I didn't hear any resonance in the political leaders' debates about the problems of the countryside. It's um, um, middle-class nationalism that appealed to members of the middle class, I think, more so than the average farmer. Uh, who was it? Was it Fernand Ouellette that said uh, the education system wasn't going anywhere, it was all uh, parlot of, uh, parlot the chattering of uh, politicians. So. Uh, I didn't see any evidence of it in my parish, um, and I didn't see on the larger, larger scale um, um, evidence of it in other parts of rural lower, lower Canada. In fact, the only area that there was actual fighting was uh, some parishes in the Richelieu Valley near Montreal and uh, saint Eustache on the other side. Uh, could be that people were intimidated by the British military um, when uh, the six counties address was going to take place. They expected thousands more people than actually showed up. So I think people made their own calculations uh, on how much political, the political crisis articulated by their leaders actually meant to them.